Hey everyone, welcome back to Fritz Hoppy on YouTube. So today I'm going to keep this pretty short because apparently we have the blizzard of the century on its way today. So I have some things I need to do before it gets here. It's likely the power will go out and that sort of thing. So anyway, this is the first part of a series of videos on clay smoothing techniques. I'm doing these videos because I've heard that term a lot on comments on my channel and just, you know, around other YouTube channels around the web, I mean. Uh, it's really not that hard to smooth clay, and I'm talking about oil-based clay here. So just so you know, this is for oil-based clay. Um, what I do is I sculpt a piece and then I create a mold. That mold is used for lost wax casting. You can use molds to pour resin or to pour wax or anything really into them as long as they work with the mold. Um, but I use them to create waxes for lost wax casting where I cast the pieces in metal. So uh, this is actually probably a little bit more of an advanced uh, clay smoothing technique, but I had this sculpture handy, which you've seen before. Um, it's pretty much about done. I just have a few more details to create. <clears throat> uh, worked a long time all year on this piece. Uh, the texture is actually a little bit complex, but the piece itself is quite simple. Um, you know, it just has the perfect form and position. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, as you can see here, I rolled these little tubes of clay and just slowly built it up over time, and that's what's special about the texture of this piece. So, the problem is I can't have all these deep little cracks. I can have some of them, but they can't be too deep. I have to smooth out everything just a little bit, and uh, I don't, well, I want to do that without damaging you know, the actual texture, I like this texture, I wanna keep this, but I gotta, you know, fill this in just a little bit. So let me show you how I will begin by doing that. First, um, this is what you can use. I use these. Now, I will, down the road, show you how you can actually make your own tools like this. You know, it's easier for me just to go buy some tools, obviously, because they all have those different tips, and those are rubber actually. And I'll show you here in a second how that works. Um, you know, a set like this, <clears throat> you know, is usually only a few bucks. I'll put a link down below to uh, Amazon if you want to just buy them online. Otherwise, go into Hobby Lobby or your local art store. I don't really have an art store here that I know of, but if you live in a more populated area, it's likely that you have a really nice art store and there will be a lot better quality tools in there. So go support a local business if you can. You'll find better quality products. So you can use mineral spirits or some people will use lighter fluid. You know, I think that's usually for wax, you know, but it'd probably work on a clay. Um, some people will make little flamethrowers. Uh, there's all sorts of things you can do. But I keep it really simple when I'm trying to smooth out clay. Um, I just use uh, this stuff. It's pretty much the same thing as the Dissolve It Citrus Spray, which I've shown you uh, before in past videos. Um, it's kind of just like a cleaning agent. I've never experienced any damage to the clay. Um, it's not toxic. Smells good. You know, that's a great thing. It's made for cleaning, so if you spill it, you just wipe it up, and it's going to actually leave a cleaner surface after you clean it off. So it's just really easy for me to buy, you know, a bottle like this or the citrus spray. You know, they're cheap. They last a long time. And all I'll do is sometimes I won't just spray the piece. You know, you can if it's larger, but I'll just spray just a tiny bit on the base or you know, any other surface. And I'll just put a little bit on my fingers and uh, just apply it to the piece. So I'll show you here. It's kind of hard to see. Let me uh, get some better light. So I'll just rub it around very gently, okay? Not too much. You know, you don't want to put too much on there 
Otherwise, uh, <clears throat> it will kind of make things a little bit gooey and it can ruin your texture. You know, and there will be other videos coming out here soon uh, where I'll show you how to do a really smooth texture, you know, maybe something like for the horse that you've seen there. Um, so once I open up my tools, I have a lot to choose from. Really though, they're all about the same. Um, you know, usually something with a rounded end or even a conical shaped end, you know, like a cone or half cone like that is usually the best. Um, what I'll do is I'll take this, put a little bit of that stuff on the end, then I'll just barely, barely at all, just kind of give it, it's almost like I'm painting like painting little tiny details. And you can see, uh, sorry, my phone camera is not working very well. I need a new phone. Um, some of the clay will get stuck to the end of the tool. You can either use that to fill in some spaces. See, like I just filled in a little space there. Because, you know, when you mold a piece like this, the silicon rubber will get down in those cracks and when you take the mold off, they'll get stuck in there and they'll tear. And uh, <clears throat> you don't want to tear too much of the mold or it'll you know, ruin the whole thing. And as you know, if you mess up the molding, um, you have to sometimes redo the whole sculpture. Um, or uh, you got to fix the sculpture to mold it again. So you want to get that right. You don't want to open up the rubber mold and then have it tear into pieces. So it is really important to do some sort of clay smoothing, even if uh, your piece has a rough texture like this. So in the next part, I'll be showing you another tool that's actually very, very inexpensive, easy to use, because uh, these will only take you so far um, eventually you can see that clay building up on the end. They will begin to dig into the sculpture a little bit. And like I said, I want to keep this texture. I just want to smooth it out just a little bit and kind of blend it together. So I'll be showing you that. I have to run now. But please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. And give this video a like by clicking the thumbs up button at the bottom of the screen. Thanks again for watching. I will see you all next time.